Well, let's continue on forward into our trusty base where nothing is going wrong. We'll see what's happening. I have a lot of souls to lose right now, so I'd like to not do that. So what's happening now? Let's get back to the hotel and our friends. But the hotel is right there, so maybe we regain our leveling really soon because the temp, the the base, the intro things that that temporarily regained the ability to level us once again lost that ability. It's just the same plaque as always. You guys alive? How, 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 how are you feeling? It might be a bad thing that the door did not do a puppet test again. Hypocrite. Who's the hypocrite, though? Oh, no, they broke the things. No, it's still here. Oh, repair stargazer. Oh, it worked. Okay. Is it because I'm fighting puppets? You're alive. I was worried because I didn't hear from you. The stalkers have kidnapped Geppetto. <gasps> it was the fox, the cat, and the black rabbit brotherhood. But really, I sense Simon is behind this. First, go to the second floor and make sure everyone is okay. I'll try to figure out where they ran off to. Antonia might know a secret passage. Try asking her. Oh, it was the fox and the cat, so they still did betray me again. Makes sense. The fox is just the bad guy in every version of Pinocchio, I think. Or one of them. Am I gonna fight a whale? Is that what's coming? Like, of all things that mirror the arc of Bloodborne and how it goes cosmic horror -y and full of insmithy shit and stuff, uh, fighting a whale lines up with both the Bloodborne arc and the, uh, the Pinocchio part where Geppetto's inside of a whale. First, go to the second floor and make sure everyone is okay. I'll try to figure out where they ran off to. Antonia might know a secret passage. Try asking her. Place is a mess. Everyone went upstairs. I just want to spend my souls. I get noivous sitting on them for so long. It's like two levels. Who, who's there? I'll never open this door. You might as well give up. Oh, it's you. Is it safe out there? Give me a sec. Okay, come in. Why is this door so hard to open? I'm sorry, child. Geppetto has been kidnapped. Oh, you're still alive. That's surprising in its own right at this point. You're here. That's a relief. Being trapped somewhere. It's the worst. It's good to be free. Oh, sorry. I should be thanking you first. When you came in, you reminded me of the Hound. Probably because both of you saved my life. Thank you so much. <laughs> I can't imagine why you reminded me of the Hound. <laughs> this has become the funniest cosmetic item. They made such a strange choice giving it to me at the beginning of the game for whatever reason it happened. I don't know. I think they just patched it in at some point as a thing that you get. Because uh, I didn't pre-order or buy any special edition. And it, and uh, Toaster said that when I, when I showed him a picture of him, he was like, How did you get that? This is supposed to be like a really hard thing to get. And I'm like, what? No, they just gave it to me. But 
I think it's neat, <laughs> but it's also very funny. It's funny in the same way as why it was funny that when I played the American version of Nier uh, earlier on this channel before Automata came out, I named my character Gestalt because the game's called Nier Gestalt. Uh, is one of it's what it's colloquially known as is that version versus uh, versus the version of Nier that got a remake more recently that uh, is based on the other version with the other protagonist. Uh, but it's actually very confusing to have a protagonist named Gestalt because of how that word is used throughout the game. You are here. That's a relief. It's good to you came in. You have my personal thanks for saving Master Vanini, sir. Do look after him, won't you, sir? Thank you for another timely rescue, Compagno. I seem to find myself once again in your debt. I talk a big game, but when push comes to shove, I freeze. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. Surely there must be something that only I, in all my genius, can contribute. But if there is not, then Vedigny is here to help you in any way he can. Fear not. It was a planned ambush. I'm afraid there's nothing we could have done about it. More than anything, I'm concerned about how it shocked Lady Antonia. All this mayhem is certainly going to affect her condition. I never imagined the stalkers would dare attack the hotel. What's going on? I'm sorry, child. Geppetto has been kidnapped. The alchemists planned the whole thing. All while we were hiding here. I certainly didn't expect an attack on the hotel. The possibility never crossed my mind. However, I think we can track them down. My portrait. Behind it lies a passageway to their base. The hotel had an accommodation with the alchemists. <laughs> Long ago. Play this chord on the piano in my room. It'll open the secret passageway. And you can save Geppetto. <clears throat> Anger. She's moved up here now. Let's see. Do I have a quartz? Yes. Let's do that real quick. They've reinforced that painting all game long so they can then be like, haha, it's a door. See, am I currently upgrading anything? I saw all of the last tier and thought they were kind of garbage. Nothing else looks like it's partially done yet. Special grindstone uses, amulet slots, belt slots, cube uses, increased stagger window. This could be use, useful, just having your pulse cells not take away your guard regain. I don't know which one of these will come up more, technically. Just generally speaking, having the chance to heal more is good. I might need to prioritize the amulet slot one. Even though the amulets aren't amazing, they do like all stack, or they, all, they, they do all potentially stack up. Especially if I had gained the capacity to wear more. I'll do the amulet one. Alright. Final tier of attack upgrades. Increases the duration of effect based uh, fable arts. Increases enemy stagger duration. See that? There's enough freedom here that honestly the tree doesn't even matter as much because these things have some of the same effects that the tree does. Like this one. Enhances stagger attack when attacking enemy from behind. That's just not useful against a lot of boss fights necessarily. I mean, maybe you can trigger that effect. Enhances the attack of fatal attacks. Okay, well, what am I, a lot of what I'm doing here is trying to trigger a fatal attack, so if I can make a tr those more damaging, then they're more worth it. 
it's always hard to know for sure what to prioritize because in many of these cases like there are some abilities like gain an extra heal where you're like okay i know exactly what that means in concrete terms but there are other effects like that where it's like ah make thing stronger okay is it like good stronger or like negligible stronger and is there something else that's much better at, at it being upgraded even though it's like a slightly less exciting thing does it upgrade so much but that's actually more impactful despite expectations soon you will see the isle of alchemists but be warned you're walking into hell and i should know the truth is i escaped from there I had to leave a lot behind. And that is why I woke you. Like you, clever one. I am more than I appear to be. I'm ready for you to see the real me. Show me that you're ready to. Please. Save us. Save Krat. I knew it. There is a secret passage. The Stalkers must be getting information from the Alchemists. It might be the only path to their base. Hurry. Whatever choice you make. Like, please let me level. <laughs> I'm begging you. Only one level. Damn. Fired ergo. Okay, I can just barely get there at the next bit. Whatever choice you make. There we go. <clears throat> Trying to get to 30 vitality, then maybe increase my motility again? I don't know. These might be decent stopping points for my vigor and capacity. I don't know what I'm doing. It was a planned ambush. And more than anything, I'm concerned. No matter what, sir, welcome to Hood. So they're saying the same stuff as before again. Yep, no one's like stock has really changed. You can see if I got another one of these. Yep. Now I can fin it completely charge this weapon. So now this charges all the way to level 3. I got 5 blue things, I got 9 heals. My main regret, I always prioritize attack over everything else. I get the attack upgrade first, then I start looking at the other stuff. I, considering how late the game in the game we might be, it might have been a good idea to check- This thing's destroyed. It might have been a good idea to check to see if I could get the, uh... Another f healing upgrade. There might have been- Get another heal! Just waiting in there. We'll see if I ever get another quartz or not. It's probably super special magic quartz or something, but it's kind of conceptually funny because I'm like, quartz is not a remark, an especially remarkable or rare mineral. If I was them, I would be figuring out how to get some more quartz. It do appear that our boss weapon guy had disappeared once again. I feel like I got a new song, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't have their names memorized. Seems to be a lot of them that I'm not finding. Exotic. I think that's the one that I read that was new. 
I think we're gonna want to just wait through this and let it let it apply its humanity point, just for the sake of it. And uh, I don't know. Fast forward three minutes if you don't want this, because it's hard to multitask with this. But I probably should do it before I leave, just in case. Yeogo was whispering. And yeah, it came out of its sleeves, so that means that that is how they indicate that. I can be more confident now. This song is way more memorable. Immediately it comes back, like, oh, it's that song! Time to beat up a fox and a cat. I bet they're a duo boss fight at this rate. Having them show up all this time is one way of like going in and foreshadowing a boss fight that happens later. There's a thing down there. Oh, you can just walk. You don't have to drop. Okay. Definitely a path. Oh, that's the only way forward. Okay. <laughs> It made it look like it looked like kind of a secret at first, and it was not. Who would have guessed all this was beneath the hotel? Wait. Is is 
this the relic of Trismegistus? You know, it's the strangest feeling. I, I, I think I've been here before. Uh, maybe I haven't gotten all my memories back after all. I don't know exactly what's going on, but someone was dragged away from here. We have to follow. Hurry! Nope, it's already off. Can it be the relic of Trismegistus? I have, I have not gotten any more cures. I'm underground, but I see a butterfly. Have I gone mad, or is it from another world? Probably this butterfly. Oh god. There be a few butterflies. Don't disappear, don't disappear, don't disappear, don't disappear. Got him! Once again, with nary a moment to register what any of them were. Give you a lot of cranks. At first, you feel really restricted on your ability to customize your weapon because it's kind of hard to get a single one. Eventually, it's just like, eh, here's a billion of them, fuck it. You know, it's like, damn, I'm not even upgrading this many weapons. Can't trigger it again when he's in front of it? Nope. Oh. Now I can. <laughs> A little too late, but... Let's keep our camera pointed at the floor. Spot any surprises. Ah ha ha ha! Stop it. That is a lot of fire ones on this side. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. I'm having an issue where my camera keeps pointing down. It's annoying. Uh, huge man McLorge. Come on over, buddy. I just want a little advantage. Really? That's a lot, a lot of damage. Wow, range. Okay. Oh no. Bad. Plunging attack didn't do me a lot. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. And I'm taking and I'm walking into the fire. No no no! You're telling me that tiny piece of wood stopped you? I've seen the doors you can open. Ow. Uh oh. <laughs> there it is. I really thought that was going to happen sooner, honestly. The Iron Wall Amulet. Increases physical damage reduction rate. Increases your defenses. Okay. Uh, physical damage reduction rate. Physical, 167, 30%. Why 
one, six, seven, thirty-eight percent. That's a lot of defense. That's eight percent less damage, I believe. I think that that number is percentage. That's what it means. I don't need to. I don't need to rest yet, especially if that guy might respawn. I don't know. He dropped a unique item. There are a lot of like elite puppets that drop unique items. They tend to not come back. They're still dropping new weapons this late? I guess that makes sense in general to do that. I'm just... I just... I always think about the really late games and Souls games and I just can't imagine making a build around them. Unless you're going into New Game Plus and reassessing all your options at that point. You tentacly bad bads around. Oh, you again. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. All alone. Time of need. Yep. Speaking of the idea, there's probably a, a cat and fox fight eventually. It sure seems like there's going to be a King of Riddles boss fight. I feel like this bridge collapses. Him crossing it doesn't make me confident that it doesn't. I still don't trust it. Oh, there's just a la oh, there's just a ladder here. That doesn't collapse. Just as precarious. Ugh. Ow! I haven't. I even saw him. I just expected more of a wind up. Damn. Item down here. There's like a bunch of spots where we kind of have to drop down in order to get half these items anyway. Let's start at this one because I get a chance to attack this dog. Oh, or I could do that. Oh, oh god, my health isn't even high. Why did I do this? Bad dog. Bad doggy. Ow. There we 
we go. <clears throat> oh, he's a puppet hybrid. His legs are puppety. Oh, he's mostly puppet, actually. Puppet elements weren't really standing out to me, but watching him get split in half just very clearly highlights. Oh, his puppet legs. Oh yeah, this is not an optional pit. This is where you go to go forward. Legion Caliber. Alright, time to fall in this hole like three more times, because there's three different items that all are at different entrances to this place. This registers as being slightly annoying of a level design. So they're, it's just very common that they put an item on a little cliff and you need to use that little cliff in order to enter to get the item. With this one, this time they did it three separate times. So you just have to keep running in and out of the same room. And as per this, like, depending on your, at least depending on my playstyle or whatever, like, not especially useful items, but you don't know if they're useful or not till you get them. There we go. I undercommitted to the, uh, to my, my holding forward during the jump, so I missed the first time. But I, I was expecting the opposite problem where I'd be overcommitting, so I was, I was worried that he would land and roll forward and fall off, because this is not a genre where I expect good rolling. Huh. <clears throat> hmm. So that's a boss fight. This level doesn't exactly seem like disastrously fraught, but, uh... It's a fairly long run, compared to usual. And there are enemies along the way. I think a few of the bigger enemies along that path are gone and won't come back, but yeah, they usually don't do this. This is surprising. Just need to change what tab of my my Discord was open to because I'm waiting for a message from someone and realized that I wasn't gonna be able to see it. All right, my heels are back. We'll see how this goes. Let's see. This area just had butterflies. There wasn't really enemies here. There's an enemy that came through this wall, but he dropped an amulet, so he probably despawned permanently when I killed him. Yeah. So this first area has no enemies. And this one's just... Okay, that guy does respawn. But you do just drop straight down here. And then if you don't get caught by the dog or the big guy, then you should be able to get into the boss chamber. Okay, so it's not so bad. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's time for the family. That sword went deep in the ground. Oh. Ow. No, my combo. Oh, I got grappled or something. Fuck. Nope. Break his neck. 
That only hit her and not him? Okay. God. God. It's too many enemies. No. No. I can't land hits on people, damn. That seems like a very forgiving hitbox compared to what I get. Ow. This is brutal. Now. God damn. She has that kind of launch on tiny weapons, but they're barely reacting to mine. How do I have no fable? Where'd it go? One of the status that maybe shock gets rid of fable. I don't have any. I think, I think this is where you need to get good at parrying. I don't think that dodging is going to work out here. It's just too many attacks. You missed. Cringe. Please look onto her. She's the one attacking me. She's the most annoying of them all because she's so fucking mobile. Oh my god, she's trapped. Yeah, I need to parry more. Oh god, this guy's gonna be a problem. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Need one more hit to get a heal. And I'm not gonna get to spend it, nope. It's kind of a choice of like, who, which one do you want to have active during the final boss fight? Because it looks like when you kill two of them, the, then the final one spawns. Electric shock. Electric shock occurs when electric blizzard. Blah, 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 blah. Both your characters and monsters will take increased. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, the character will receive continuous damage to their fable slots. Then higher chance of stagger. And I'm all out of cure items. I would have to grind for more. But. Oh. This fight shouldn't be a huge problem, just like last time. It's just. Kind of have to get a little lucky because there's so much AI nonsense happening at once that all of them can behave differently moment to moment. You're just trying to wrangle this big fight. Oh fuck, I don't have the fable.
don't even remember which where it is or what item it is. Seven thousand, damn. Okay. Um. Fable catalyst. I forgot to actually transform it. <laughs> to watch this guy break up now yeah. hello you fucked up That effect stacking up is bad. Jeez, that's a lot of damage from over here. She, he just hit her. She has decay on her weapons right now, so I don't really want to fight her. Seems like a bad idea. Oh god. Okay, fuck me. That's my fable. Yeah. Ah, fuck. God damn it. God damn it. It's gonna be so much damage. They're all dead. That was so obvious. How did I mess that one up? Fuck. 
fuck. No. Oh, that was the shock wave. Damn it. I didn't know it was the shock wave. It's very funny that I just I was able to dodge his his downward combo by just slowly rotating to his right. Okay, well I made a lot of progress that fight, I think. Got better at isolating them and fighting them one by one. And I even managed to kill the last of them before he even spawns. So you have a you have a window in which to finish them off. Feels best to just run away from the lady when she activates decay, because she's just gonna chase you down. And I feel like ideally I take out the fire out. I feel like ideally I take the fire guy out first because he keeps grabbing you when you're doing other stuff. And I think that overheat does more damage than any other effect. Because overheat, I think single-handedly took out two of my heals. All any actual damage they do removed. Uh. That's just kind of brutal. But he's the one that's, that stays back the most, so that's kind of rough. So I don't know how reasonable that approach is. There she comes. Ideally, I trap her in the corner. Ow. Or she can't backflip away forever. Then that gets me into trouble with walls, like always. No, really? That didn't connect? That's just bullshit at that point, man. That's. Oh, god damn it. Fully charged attacks should have more be more forgiving about hitting walls than they are. Now. Fuck, I'm just trying to heal. <laughs> okay. All right, I literally could not get a single heal to go off. <laughs> I kept trying and just would not activate. Does it say how many of these I have? 28, okay. That's good. We'll see if I, we'll see how quickly I run out of those over the course of this uh, level though. Or what's left of the game as the bosses get harder. Might just have to deal with transforming mid fight. Preferable not to. She seems to always start the fight by activating, so it's best if I just run away from them and try to catch her in the corner. And this happens. Rude. God damn it. What's tough about him is that he does that and you're probably fighting someone else already and that person runs over and joins him. Well, God damn it. Long combo. Overheat's already active. God damn it.
It also might be reasonable to just focus on fighting whichever one is chasing me at any given time and just leave it to that. Let the fight determine its own rhythm. Because something that is kind of noticeable is that whichever one's currently attacking you, uh, the other ones kind of just hang out. They have the too many ninjas problem, where when there's too many ninjas, everyone kind of just doesn't do anything. But one ninja in a movie is super dangerous. The problem is that if you let them determine the, the pace of the fight, then the current, the one currently attacking you is always the one that just charged up their weapon with a special effect. So, it's really preferable not to fight the one currently charged up with an effect. Especially when two of them make me bleed health over time, the other one destroys my fable. God damn it! It's so frustrating that right when I get an opening that happens. God damn it. Fuck! Let overheat fill up. <laughs> Very important. I will lose so much health if that fills up. God damn! Whoa, it goes fast. Holy shit. That was like one hit. So much for playing cautiously. Fuck. I'm still dying of overheat. It does so much damage! I might need to spe specifically equip overheat resistance over everything else. Even though all the other effects are also bad. And you can't- you cannot specialize in all of them, it's impossible. God damn it. Did that attack go through him? Jesus Christ. This is so chaotic. No, don't give me overheat. You already did it once. It costs, it costs so many healing. Fuck. Jesus Christ. And I get no fable because of this guy. Ugh. Really? It sucks. Cool. Alright, just change targets mid fight. Fuck. Why? What is that range? I just healed, didn't I? Or maybe it didn't go off. This is for my brother. I'm gonna rip your heart. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. That's why I'm not healing. <laughs> Shit. It's so overwhelming. God damn it. Every opening I get. Do not give me overheat. Right. Demonstration time. 
Who wants to watch this guy break a car? No! You fucking gave me overheat that fast? Fuck! God damn it, this fight's gonna be brutal to practice. Jesus Christ, all right. <sighs> it's just such a frustrating phase one and then you have to fight that guy at the end. And I, I'm not even getting a chance to like practice against him because of how much of a fight I have to get through to get there. Ugh. What's very frustrating to me is that one of the solutions here is that, oh, you should go like buy the thing that cures overheat, right? But you can just spend all your your souls on those and then run out. I could just run out of them again. It's just ah. That's why I don't like. That's why I don't like these limited consumables in these games where you die and you you reset and all the enemies reset, but all of your items are still gone. No matter what. So I, I can spend resources on healing items, but. In a JRPG or whatever, it's like, okay, I spent all my stuff on these healing items, and now I can then, uh, now I have healing items whenever I do this fight, right? I have, I have these cures ready for this fight, and then I can go do attempts. But in this thing, you lose them. So, like, if I fail, we still lose all these healing items, and so, screw me. <laughs> I still lose them all. Uh, that's 480 each? It's not a small cost. Fuck. No matter what serving welcome. All right, I have 18 of them. Let's see. Just brutal. Yeah, this, this is one of my least favorite things about all of Souls games is the fact that uh, if you lose, if you use the stuff during a boss fight, you lose it. And now you still have to do the same boss fight, but now all the resources are gone, and it's like, what? You dick? <laughs> People always focus, fix it on that in terms of, like, blood vials, for, or, like, half-moon grass and stuff like that in Demon Souls and Bloodborne, but it, it applies to everything else, too. Like, oh, this item is used, this is the item that's useful for this particular scenario. Oh, well, I, I used that item and then I died. Well, <laughs> do it without the item that's useful for the scenario now, I guess. You should be ready, right? Given that you failed the first time with the help, now do it without help. The people have been arguing about this ever since the uh, Demon Souls took the move of being like, oh, you lost against a boss fight? Now try again with half the health. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? Why would you do that to me? I'll kill you, just like Big Brother wanted. Ow! Oh, mine did not go off first. kind of comical how much weaker decay is. Here comes this asshole. God damn. It's like he specifically specializes in obliterating my stamina my durability.
Please look at her. God damn it. No! I'm kind of caught off guard by how much it's become clear that she's kind of the safest target to focus. I'm just gonna run away from overheat for now. But she's kind of the safest one to target because you can kind of corner her and she does annoyingly dodge attacks here and there, but ow, she still got me that easily. Look how much fucking damage it did already. Jesus. <laughs> Why is overheat so strong? And then my freaking stamina, my durability gets obliterated. God damn it, I was trying to run and he wouldn't run. Jesus Christ. That went through that? God damn it. Even if we just fight to buy time. Part of the struggle is that you can almost never stagger anybody because you're switching targets, so they're just regenerating. So nearly a thing. Fucking Jesus Christ. No overheat. King shit. I didn't hit him? When we couldn't save our brother, that's when our fate was seen. Fuck, why can't I ever hit that? It's so obvious.
No. I wanted to heal. Fuck. He's not a very hard fight. I remember him. Like, he was the guy I killed first at the beginning. He only has so many, like, attacks and things. It's just that I have to get through all of that first, and then I have to fight this guy that's high impact and very threatening. And, and I potentially have to juggle it with the other fights. He's not as hard to counter as some of the other guys that have just such crazy combos. But I've, man, just... It's very hard to get a get a handle in a situation have a clear, consistent uh, plan. When everything goes so, so differently. Disruption shock break. It's always those ones every time. Yeah, none of these electric blitz, fire damage. Is decay acid and fire uh, the th overheat, I guess? Is the. Yeah. These just say Disruption, Shock, and Break. But these don't say the names of the other abilities. Do they not mean the same thing? Increased damage afflicted on humans. Not, not wrong. That would be the thing to do here. Because at least one of them is a human. All right, at least, at least three of them are humans. The last one's probably a carcass. Stuff like stamina regeneration rate, I just don't know how effective it is. I'm never totally sure. Like, it just feels like a good idea because stamina is so important. But I'm never sure exactly how impactful said rings are being on my fights in each Souls game. Even if we're just baits to buy time. He's going first? Don't let us stack. Okay, overheat went way slower. So fire resist does seem to affect. And I made that my biggest resistance. We're changing targets. Demonstration time. Who wants to watch this guy break apart? I feel dumb whenever I'm roll spamming, but I don't know how else to respond to multiple ta attacks at the same time when, one of, when some of the enemies are even off camera. God damn it. Okay, I'm not fighting her, I guess. All right, he's doing it again. Jesus. Ch Yeah. 
God damn it. Yeah. That was a bad, that was a bad 30 seconds where I didn't really do any damage, but I did take enough to have to heal again while accomplishing nothing. Okay. She's taking the least damage? God damn it! Fucking... Fuck you, man! Again? Even if we just fight to buy time, you're going down. Don't let it go. Wall. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is for my brother. Uh. Fight is exhausting. He threw it over it. Damn it! No, I need my me my meter is running out. I need to get my meter back because you have to actively maintain your durability. Fucking overheat does damage over time to your meter. It's so overpowered. The fact that it does so much damage to your durability while also being a ton of damage to your health is insane. At least I got enough resistance that it can't apply the full effect to me in one hit. I just lost so much health just trying to get my meter back up. Demonstration time. Who wants to watch this guy break apart? No! Fuck! Really? So fucking frustrated. It's so much work. It's just so much work to get through that phase. And then it's over instantly sometimes. I got fucked over by the fact that the, uh, I was just on the cusp of having my Fable combo, so I thought I could launch it, but I just needed one more hit, and then it just didn't quite work out for a while, and then I finally got too greedy and then did actually launch it when I did. So I got to do a whole Fable combo in the middle of that mess, which I think, did, I think it might have gotten the fire guy? I don't know, it's hard to rewind what happened in the last few seconds. Then the shockwave hit.
The Fable combo for this weapon is kind of weird because you do kind of feel invincible when you're doing it, but only sometimes. It's just, it's shocking what you can get away with when you're launching it sometimes, but then sometimes you do get shut down. But it's rare enough that I'm not entirely sure of the rules. There's a big hit. Jesus Christ, she's dead. <laughs> no! Really? Damn it. It gets so frustrating how easily he outranges me. They're all designed to be able to perfectly pursue you when you dodge and then also perfectly evade you when you swing back because they have they, they jump forward and backwards so quickly. My stamina. I can't just keep going back and forth like this the way he can. Ugh. Because they have infinite stamina and I very much do not. You can't interrupt him powering up either? How'd that hit me? That was an iframe. Ah, run, fucker! I held B for so long. God, this is bad. No! Don't get stuck on things. Ah, oh, there's so much stuff to get stuck on. God, no! The fact that it didn't even connect with anybody is so fucking annoying! Whoa. God, I never timed that right. I always think I can because it's so obviously telegraphed, but I'm just trash. Fuck! No! God, they're shredding my health. I just need you to be gone so I can focus on one guy. Oh my god. Fuck you, man! Fuck you! No! God! Fuck! Damn it! I had five heals! That sucks! I did so good, but the mother... F just had so much health! God damn it. Ugh, he outranges me so hard. That's not the sh that's not the shockwave. Mm. 
No. Fuck. I'm trying to be really lame here and outrange him. Purely for that reason. Now don't. Now get. Now actually get the heal off. God, I blew it immediately by doing that again. Damn it. My whole goal was to bait out getting a heal so I could get back to fighting, and then I immediately lost it to that red attack again. God damn it. No! Ah, fuck. What a, what a nightmare fight. It's just chaos. Like, none of the individual enemies are hard, obviously. Even that guy's not hard. I almost beat him with no healing. It's just the fact that I can't get him alone. And he's the toughest one to fight alone. I see what they did here. They inverted the previous fight, because last time he was the main enemy that you fought the whole time. And each of the other guys showed up for a bit to be an a big, messy bonus enemy. But I don't think they all had status effects last time, because that's brutal. The status effects really do stack a lot to this thing. They give you a lot more to worry about. This is for my brother. I'm gonna rip your heart out. Poor stamina meter. I can't. I keep wanting to respond to the rhythm of the fight, but I don't have a, I don't have the stamina to keep going like that. Cut. I really wish I could fix my stupid brain that can't handle any counter parry system. Like, I just fucking... I see the attacks! I understand when they're gonna hit, and I just cannot press the button right. It's just fundamentally isn't happening. I've beaten entire games like this now, and I still can't adapt. I don't know what the deal is. God damn it. Ah, uh, getting ganged up on. Ah, the number of times I missed by like an inch. It's just so frustrating. Motherfucker, really? Give me one second. I need my, both hit, both my meters are empty at the same time. <laughs> Actual torture. There we go. Thank God it goes faster eventually. Okay. 
How did I not get that off in time? Fucking! <laughs> I don't want to do this fight anymore! This is getting torturous. There's no rhythm to it. People just fucking interfere whenever they feel like it. And they're not even on the screen! I don't think being like there's an audio cue is really enough to justify it. Like, oh, you technically hear someone launching the attack one second before it lands when you're in the middle of fighting somebody else in a game where there's no animation cancel. There we go. This sucks. I don't want to. I don't want to kill her. If she dies first, then that guy's gonna have so much health. Uh, fuck it. Fucking camera, no. God damn it. Got her fuck no, let me go. I need to repair again. Oh my god, the repair mechanic in this le level is brutal. Oh, how did that hit no one? He was even running into my attack on the side. Oh, thank God. Oh, fuck the range. Fuck. Can't block that. No! No! God damn it! Damn it! I just. <laughs> I'm so annoyed right now. In a weird way, the last guy might be the easiest one. I just don't have time to put any... to adapt to him. I'm having a horrible time on just balancing stamina, health, and uh, durability because of how much I'm... Oh, that's a bad start to this fucking attempt. All right. My stamina. That's a great start to this attempt, though. Okay, that's not good. Wow, no, like no interference. I changed my weapon. Fuck. How did I do that? Because it's a block button, I guess. I'm, I was trying to spam my combo. This is not great news for me. I can't change this weapon back. Because of this guy. I don't know. Maybe this weapon's better because it stuns people. 
extremely slow, but... Fuck. Fuck! Ah, oh, the way he pursues you is so brutal. His attacks chase. No! Fucking guard breaking. God damn it. No! I just healed and another heal's gone. Damn. Okay. That's my best attempt so far though, I think. But it kind of fell apart at the end because it always does when this guy shows up. It's because he actually attacks at the same time, obviously. When other, when other guys don't. Ugh. How did I fuck that up? Why did I do that? Uh-oh. Nope. Wait, did I apply it? I did apply it. Damn it. No! Yes. We were just such in the territory where every hit matters that every miss was like, ah, please! Ports. He. Ah, okay. Yeah, we were off to a good start when I destroyed the ninja lady. Immediately, with no interference, just immediately. <laughs> that was a fight where you get a lot of mileage out of perfectly charging up your long, your very slow charge up attack when they're attacking, when they're approaching, to hopefully get a chance to completely trap them. I can level up here again. Why am I back to being able to level up here? I don't know. I should be able to still go back, right? Unless she's gone or dead? I wonder why they would give that back. Is she gone? She might be gone. Huh. Makes you- I mean, maybe she shows up further ahead in the story? It's like when the weapon merchant disappears. She could be the next boss fight, or she could be killed by the next boss fight, or she could just be waiting up the road to talk to you like the, the Emerald Herald does in the dragon area. Interesting. She's just gone. Overall, I wish they just let you level up at that station whenever you wanted to. It's just kind of annoying that you can't just do that whenever you want. But, uh... The biggest reason I can I can say to justify why they did it the way they did is that they probably did it to, uh... 
make it so that you have to come back to town periodically to interact with people. Like, it's to encourage you to come back. Which is, like, I guess, fine. Purchase Fable, one perfect card successful. Faster durability recovery. Might need to get that. Watch it never happen. It matter again. Enhance guard again when, when recovery when attacking enemies. Max number of pulse cells. Gonna have to get that one. All right. Yeah. I should have looked to make sure that whether that was there or not in the from the get go. So we now have a tenth heal, which is pretty. That's. It's hard to have any upgrade in the game be more impactful than that. So. Good to know we have that. It's not over here. No. Yeah, that's probably why they re they reactivated leveling at the st at the stargazers. This might just be me, but on, like on top of not wanting to go back to town every time I just want to level up, uh, I'm happy to just come to town periodically on my own will instead. Uh, it just feels incoherent the way the game's like, you can level up with stargazers, you can only level up in town. You can level up with stargazers, you can only level up in town. You can level up with stargazers! Like they've, they've talked, this is our third separate time we can level up with stargazers and not in town. It just, it bounces back and forth so weirdly and just, just let us, just leave it. Just leave it. It's fine. Uh, I don't hate that fight. Bo both versions of the family fight are neat, but damn, man. <laughs> uh, it is incredibly overwhelming and stressful. It would appear that we have a talk to be had with this guy over here. And maybe a few people to check in in general. Ah, looks like you've dealt with the puppets menacing the hotel steps in your typically dashing style. That should give us more than enough readings to analyze. The King of Puppets used carefully measured ergo wavelengths to control other puppets. But that's just the means to an end. We still don't know if the frenzy arose by the King of Puppets, or if someone else is pulling the strings. No pun intended. I must find a way to prevent puppets from hurting any more humans. The tragedy of Arlecchino must remain a one-time performance. These records are like a puzzle wrapped in riddles. But I always did love puzzles. The light shines brightest in the darkest times, and you will be the first light. I am counting on you. I saw you too. I'll probably try to clear this stuff out if I can. Just any loose ends I can think of. Because this is looking pretty final. Even the even the dialogue that repeated so many times across the many iterations of that boss fight I did was like even if we're just meant to slow you down, we're still gonna take you out or whatever. It's like, okay, you're a distraction for the real boss. And, you know, the climacticness of the ba base being attacked, it seems very much that I'm going into the final zone. Hello, my only friend, Red. What have you come to tell me? Huh? Being angry for someone else's sake? I think it's brave. I hope I find someone I can be brave for. Thank you so much. Ergo. Hello, my only friend. Red. He's a sad guy. Let's see. Stella Opera House entrance. Might have to run around for a while, but hopefully I can find who I haven't found yet for this. They are thankfully often noisy characters. They were back at the big bad tough fight. Wasn't there someone that was like upstairs and kind of above us? I 
Oh, was it here? Oh, there's another record. Uh oh. Fascination. Red actress's locket. Uh. Is that the song that was playing at the sister's body? Yeah, the white lady's locket. So it's the white lady's locket. A small locket was given as a commemorative token. It holds a portrait of a beautiful woman in red. The sisters exchanged lockets as a sign of friendship. The younger sister was pleased. To stand always on the stage of our dreams together. Your loving sister, Adelina. small commemorative locket that was given as a commemorative token. It holds the portrait of a pale girl stabbed repeatedly by a knife. The sisters exchange lockets as a sign of their friendship. The elder sister is pleased. To stand always on the... of our dreams together, your loving sister... Uh, the, the... picture is stabbed out, the word stage is scratched out, and the name of the sister is scratched out. That can't be a great sign. I think that ended up being a less than symmetrical relationship. Okay. Wow, I ended up taking like the exact path to get here on intuition. I remembered it being overhead, but I didn't know if it was over there overhead. But yeah, when I thought of it being overhead, I guess I thought of it as being overhead in terms of, like, compared to the archway you go through to reach... Oop. The boss chamber. Good job, me. Get one shot. Okay. Well, that wasn't much of an undertaking. Put that off a little longer than I should have, probably. Although, I guess it was just a record. Yeah, zone one is gone. There's the whole barren swamp area we did recently. Malum District, isn't that where it was? I think one of the only loose ends I have right now is these decoded messages. An old shack in the tomb slums in Malum district. Tombs, so Malum tomb slums. Can I parse that into something? Town hall and then just district. Path of the Pilgrim. Path of the Pilgrim could be the slums, even though it's not called Malum District. Path of the Pilgrim. Definitely wish I could zoom in on that. I can do a little bit. Let's see. Open up Earthen View. Mouse wheel scroll in. Lock that to the top half of my other monitor. Because my other monitor is vertical. Now I have that image on the screen at least. When I'm looking for these mom these locations in Bloodborne or in Elden Ring and so on, I always just wish I could like keep it on my screen as a reference. It's like, it's a big triangular shack like this one, but over there is a burning area, or a lit area, and there's a, there's, uh, a clothesline above it. Ow. Ow. <clears throat> 
this whole zone truly was 500 years ago. Yep, this is where you have the scary encounter with the, with the bear for the first time. It's funny how this still feels recent. Ooh, almost, oh, I almost stepped on that one, then I did step on that one. Yeah, that, that's a dead end. Yeah, we can't take shortcuts because our goal isn't just to traverse zones quickly, it's to actually look around for where the thing might be. And it could be around here. Yeah, I always kind of dig when I'm playing a game and I see stuff from just a very long time ago as far as the raw duration of the game goes. And I think, huh, this feels pretty recent. That's usually a sign that the game isn't obnoxiously long. There's a, there's a clothesline. Oh god, he's big. But I'm more important or something. Whoop. Ah! I may have received some ouchies. Who is that? Okay, everything else aside, there's just a character over there. Let's try to meet him. Can't get through that. Maybe you have to drop down onto him? There's just a whole ass character. Have I met them before and just forgot? Looks like you need to drop down here then go up this slope. I just missed you all game long, didn't I? What is this? How did you find this place? They sent you, didn't they? Those guys blabber about loyalty, but when the chips are down, they'll stab each other in the back. I don't know what's inside, and I don't really care. Take it with you and hurry. Robber's shack key. Getting involved sounds like trouble to me. You can find the stolen goods on your own. This place does not- it does have a clothesline, but it doesn't look like a photo. I wonder if this is a trap? Oh, the stuff's in there. I was like, where does the key go? Oh, this is like an invisible door. Hello. It's a trap. Wow, I almost missed this game's patches. Good thing I went back. Not even what I was looking for. Wait, was that the whole trap though? Sir, buddy old pal, I think you're going to need a better plan. They gone? Did you just give me some kind of shortcut? I don't think I don't think there's anywhere to, anywhere to go here. Hmm. Well, the item doesn't doesn't disappear. Oh no, I fought two enemies. Oh, what a disaster. I'll never... Life amulet plus one! There was a better life amulet this whole time. Damn. That's not bad. Might add that with the other stuff. I mean, I don't need plus against humans right now, so I'll go for that. Pump up that life bar.
So you're not going to believe this. I was right. I was right about where I was looking into, based on this angle. It is like this area, I believe. But what I was supposed to do is I was supposed to use check ground. How do I... Wait, how do I actually do the emote? Change and unequip. No, just do it. Shit, I don't remember how to do emotes. Uh, <laughs> can I... There. Use. There it is. The Atoned Hunting... The Atoned Hunting Apparel and another Legion Caliber. So I was completely right about where I went to look for it. I just couldn't figure out what they wanted from me. It looks like that. Which, what did I look like before? That. Treasure Hunters Hunting Apparel. The Atoned Hunting So it's just like a little cleaner looking. In the brownness. <laughs> Jest, full, go full jester mode. The dog jester. It's a bit, it's a bit much. Bad at navigating this menu, strangely. There, I found it. There we go. That was driving me crazy a little bit. Anyway, uh, I also looked into the previous one because I was confused by it. And yes, uh, as it turns out, I was supposed to find Patches the Hyena, but not. Ah, oh, fuck. That was, in fact, the entire point. He's, he's eating my air grill. I forgot that's what he does. Does he, does he return what he stole? Nope. I just lost 100 ergo. But yeah, as it turns out, that other vessel was supposed to point me to that character as far as I can tell. And that was the whole point of that. So those are the two... ...vessel things so far as they reveal those two pieces of information. I think we followed up on all the characters and... My map is devoid of quest markers, so we're probably ready to continue forward. Yeah, it turns out that place with that had the uh, the clothesline and everything, it was that. I guess when I said that it wasn't that place, I was looking at it from the front, whereas maybe I should have been looking at it from the back, where the actual character was, and maybe it did match up with the photo there. Although even the place I just was at, that place that I just was at also kind of didn't look like the photo for that place either, so I'm kind of thrown off in general. Okay, I was coming from this direction. Thank god I had that uh, that run where I perfectly trapped her and just defeated her immediately with no phase change, no like transition between characters that gave me what we needed to finally escape. Okay, I can tell my light's not on this time. You can see how, like, it's not... It's not extremely apparent my light is on or off necessarily a lot of the time because the game's always kind of dark. You can always basically see. I give up. Just don't kill me. You've been a real punk of ass, haven't you? Oh, amazing! I didn't expect you to thrash those rabbit fellows too. You're here looking for Geppetto, aren't you? The fox and the cat have got that old man. They took the submarine from that dock over there. They probably went to the alchemist's isle. There should be another one. You should commandeer it. If anyone asks, uh, I didn't see anything. There should be something left at the dock. If anyone asks, uh, I didn't see anything. Attack Alidoro. Oh. <laughs> Good choice. I, Alidoro, am too great a treasure hunter to just disappear. My admirers would wonder. See for yourself. I sell only the best treasure. Burnt White Kings, Legion Arm thingy, Fury Dodge, don't know what that is.
This one, yeah, this one just makes you stronger. Upon successful, perfect guard. That's the one I can't have. That's the one that that's the one that would be good for my build, but a perfect it, it's counter to the exact weapon I have. There should be something left at the dock. If anyone asks, I, I didn't see anything. I'm just a guest here, with no special obligation to the hotel. But if you still want to hear, <laughs> the alchemist said they would help me escape from the city. Talk about an offer I couldn't refuse. I can't live in the hotel forever. I need to move up and move on. Also, there was someone who was so annoying. That's all. Does that suffice? There should be something left at the dock. If anyone asks, I, I didn't see anything. It says about the reason for betraying the hotel. So he's the one that betrayed the hotel. And he's just, ah, someone was so annoying. So I did that. He's such a piece of shit, just all the way around. Right. <laughs> I had a feeling you would ask sooner or later. It's because of that girl, isn't it? I am not Alidoro the Hound. Not the real one, anyway. I used to be Alidoro's partner. I admired him, to be honest. <laughs> he was amazing. Amazing at everything, except making a profit, that is. But he didn't need to cut me off just because I sold some antiques. I mean, what's a few antiques when you've got bills to pay? We argued. One thing led to another, and I had to kill him. But stealing his identity was the logical next step. My original code name is Parrot, after all. Fitting, isn't it? Oh, he was also from the country of the morning. Maybe he shares some blood with the girl. And that's my story. Tragic tale. Do you want to hear more? There should be something left at the dock. If anyone asks, I, I didn't see anything. He's so irredeemable a character he's even like freaking uh, that's my story it's truly tragic i had to kill somebody to take his money oh what a murderous air you have you're going to kill me i know what you are you're geppetto's puppet aren't you if someone isn't trying to kill you you can't hurt them either that limitation makes it seem like your creator didn't trust you very much. Smart of him. So, what will it be, Mr. Handsome Idiot? Leave quietly? Or shut up and buy something? You've you got to be joking! Don't come in! <laughs> You're like... That's kind of a stupid final line for someone to say, but okay. You're like a human. Well, he was awful. It's not just that he's a coward and a fraud, but he just like openly and actively kills people who are who are better people than him. And not only did he kill the original Alidoro, he specifically is the person who betrayed our uh, hotel and got my father kidnapped. Like, he's just the actual worst all the time. And the thing about that and his unrepentant behavior about his own stuff is that like, okay, so you're just gonna keep doing that, right? Like, you're just going to keep killing people. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood, the Fox, the Cat, and Alidoro, too. I don't even want to guess what they might be planning, pal. This way must lead to their headquarters, shall we? Seems about time to kill the Fox and the Cat, too. They seem to just be lying to us. Every po I mean, they, we knew that from the get-go. They've been actively using us, but... They're so unrepentant. Hey, look. That lever resembles... Yes, it seems we can use it to call a submarine. Like by the end they're using fake sicknesses, like he's probably not even losing his sight. And they pretended to be acting against the alchemists when they're really working for them. 
The Great Vanini and the Pistris de Submarine. You're all invited to the launching ceremony of Vanini Company's new submarine, the Pistri. I'm, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm just gonna give up. Come and see the Pistri's dashing dignity. Size, blah blah blah, stats, stats, blah 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 blah. Uh, propulsion method, Lorenzi, Lorenzini engine and lead acid batteries. The Pistri moves with Mr. Vanini's newest motivity organ, Lorenzini engine. A patented product named after Mr. Vanini. A new method that generates a bigger electric output by electrically stimulating, ergo. Lead acid battery. Supplementary power. On top of that, it serves as ballast on the bottom of the submarine. Such an innovative design. A one-time chance to take a peek into the future of Krat, the city of science. Don't miss out. Come join us. What could go wrong? Cool breaching animation, but upsetting for anyone who's on the submarine for it to just fucking tilt like 45 degree angles. Listen, pal, nice landing, but uh, let's not make it a habit. What the? Hey, it's. Sophia! I am finally meeting you here. You're a clever one, so it shouldn't surprise you that the Sophia at the hotel isn't really me. My real self is on the upper part of the Abbey. I became his tool a long time ago. I have endured such pain. My soul split into pieces. Truth is, I guided you this far not to save Grot, but to save me. I felt guilty about that, but I was so elated when you answered my call. Despite it all, I thank you, my spirit and my body have lived apart for too long. Perhaps in death, I will reunite. In peace, I'll grant you my power before my spirit diminishes further. Stargazer will guide you, clever one. If you find my body, please help me find peace. My guidance ends here. After images of memories rage on the seaside because of Ergo, please be careful. After images of memories. So here her guidance ends. Oh, there's the submarine. Uh, is there a teleport spot? Let's we'll see. I can't hold out forever, but I'll support you. I don't have an F for level, do I? Uh, no. I do not. About Simon. I am the daughter of Valentinus, leader of the alchemists. Simon was my father's right-hand man. Ambition overwhelmed him, however, and he spread the petrification disease, taking countless lives. Why would he do that? I don't know. But he brings a dark world upon us. That's for certain. Stop him. However you can. About the meaning of the tool. The petrification disease freezes time and memory within the afflicted body. Ergo 
is the purified essence of that life, trapped by the petrification disease. When I discovered that, it opened my eyes, and I was able to manipulate time using Ergo. Simon, on the other hand, is trying to use my power to fuel his ambition. I wound back your time to protect you so you could stand against him. So stop him. Save Krat. Well now. I could use another trip back just to listen to another record. Hopefully we're not totally trapped here. I think those blue bar things might be the barriers of the zone. I imagine you'll just go randomly running out into the forest. They said there's memories here, so that's probably what that is. The question is whether the little boy in these visions is uh, the villain or if it's me. And Romeo felt like they might have been a version of me. Hi, are you trained to be a stalker too? Well, let's practice together. Call me Lampwick. Is Lamp? Isn't Lampwick the other the other boy in Pinocchio? I'm sorry, I'm not a Pinocchio stan. <laughs> I'm not overloaded with memorized lore and names. I didn't even really rewatch the movie growing up. I just saw it and like, oh yeah, it's Pinocchio, and I remembered it forever. But I didn't like. I don't think it was in the rotation for me. I watched a lot of The Lion King. Like a lot of The Lion King. <laughs> He didn't even come to your graduation. I don't care if an old man like that kicks the bucket. Don't say that. It's nice you got any family at all. Let's start talking about this. Oh, she's here. Grab her. This Romeo was the 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 big the first really 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 hard fight, right? So I imagine I kind of got the sense that they either that they like knew the real me before I was remade as a puppet. I may have lost the thread a little bit. I always have a little trouble following the soul, the story of Souls games just because it's so sp spaced out. Then people like Toaster are like, "What do you mean? I have an encyclopedic knowledge of everything that happened in Elden Ring," and I'm like, "What?" Each plot point in certain storylines in Elden Ring is spaced out by like 30 hours. The only thing I understood in Elden Ring really was Blythe's story. Please teach me how to use a sword. You're a legendary stalker. Ugh, so annoying. Gemini, get rid of them. I'm off. Gemini. That does suggest that, that voice was the previous me. Or that, that's not the, quite the way to put it. The version of the, the, the human that I'm based on. Because I'm based on a real boy. That's what... Actually, I don't know if that is what old Pino Pinocchio is like, necessarily. I think I remember hearing descriptions of Benicio del Toro's... Uh, uh, Guillermo del Toro's uh, Pinocchio as being unusual in that that's what the story was is that Geppetto lost a real boy and then made a puppet to replace him and I think that in, other, in some other versions there isn't an original boy so I'm not sure actually 
And now I've never read the original, original story. There's just kind of staggered bodies everywhere. Might miss some of them, but it seems like all they ever have is just some basic items. an enemy up there. Well, this is definitely all building up to something final. Oop. Let's do one last scan for any floating heads and things. Nope. But there are here. Sorry, I kind of sort of murdered Aladoro, but it's not Aladoro. He actually killed Aladoro? I avenged Aladoro. Sorry, I should have led with that. I heard it from a recent arrival. Alidoro is dead. I know he's a fake, so it doesn't matter. Still, I wonder what happened to the real Alidoro. The one who saved me. I shudder thinking about it. Do you have any ideas? I wonder what the real Alidoro was like. No. <gasps> How terrible! The fake Alidoro killed the real one? My gosh! When the fake one smashed up the hotel, I should have clobbered him with one of the weapons lying around here. <sighs> He's dead. So the punishment fits the crime, or in other words, karma. Thanks for finding that out. My heart hurts, as the truth often does. Oh, another song. Proposal Flower Wolf Part 1. So he, so he smashed this place up. He didn't just betray this place and like let them in. He specifically helped attack this place. So fuck that guy. You are here. That's a relief. Being trapped somewhere. It's the worst. That old dialogue. I guess it's impossible to upgrade my weapon, so... Pro given that we're so far in the game, I'm, I'm especially probably not going to be changing weapons now and trying to adapt to a new moveset. At the house of Vanini. Ah. Master Vanini's collection. The house of Vanini deals only in... At the house of Vanini. I believe it's still the same dialogue every time. So even more cranks, I think? Destruction grind grindstone. Temporarily increases this weapon's stagger attack. Is that better than electric blitz? Probably? If stagger is how you cause the meter to fill up? Or is that just the chance that you'll interrupt somebody? Temporarily activates perfect guard when guarding. Oh my god. Avoids durability consumption. Increases weapon critical rate. So these are the real deal items. These are really big deals. Advanced plus four. Let's see. Let's get stagger attack. I hope that means it makes the white meter faster. Because I, I, I don't love electric blitz. I thought I was working on a build here where I have the electric blitz, grindstone, and the electric, and then uh, uh, an electric blitz mechanical arm. But overall, this proved to be pretty disappointing. Because uh, they just didn't do that. Uh, the problem is that electric blitz only matters if they turn blue, and I found that. Even with the stuff enabled, it was often surprisingly hard to actually turn someone blue. 
which means they're not actually taking the bonus stagger. No matter what fate brings us, I will be serving her. Welcome to how are you doing? Basic stuff for the most part. I can buy more Legion Calibers if I want to. Oh, another cryptic vessel. Might as well grab that. They're always kind of exciting to grab. I hope I haven't missed other ones. I probably have missed plenty of them. At the house of Nothing here though. I always welcome Fred. Oh, and Aladora also had one, right. Ah, oh, thank you for coming. I was going a bit stir-crazy, as the poets say, cooped up in the hotel. Why don't I read the contents? Oh, I'm sick and tired of reading conversations between society's elite. Hide these, kill that, steal those. It's all the same. And the people who want them deciphered act as if it's the end of the world if they can't read them immediately. <laughs> Tiresome. I am a simple, albeit brilliant man. Solving the code is what makes me happy. And with a friend at my side, what more is there to wish for? Perhaps sometimes I share too much. <laughs> Thank you for listening. A little extra for you in there, my friend. A rusty cryptic vessel. Orders. Find the cave blocked- oh, I know exactly where that is. <laughs> blocked up by the metal bars in the barren swamp, there's a reward at the end of the new road. There's a place called Hermit's Cave. An old man who went crazy after losing his family locked himself up there to pray. It's strange in this age to hear about such a med medieval-sounding story and crop, but one thing is clear. It's a good place to hide treasure. <laughs> Let's forget about the crazy old man. Hide the stolen goods and take them back out once it quiets down. Who in the right mind would imagine there's treasure deep in a cave in the barren swamp? I don't know, the big portcullis uh, sparks the imagination. Once this panic is over, we'll, we'll be rich. <sighs> With things we scrolled away. That kid's clothes seem like good quality too. Maybe that Wolf girl mixed, uh, fixed them up. I always welcome... Que bello! A brand new design! No, a whole new model! What a thrill! And there we are. Done. Even a brand new model doesn't stand a chance when you're dealing with genius. But the device bordered on genius itself. Required all my intellect. If you ever meet the creator, get me their calling card, won't you? No, oh, sorry, I'm sure you're busy. Just let me know if you ever find out. Spent more time talking about how it was hard than I did spend uh, opening it. But yeah, this is the Aladora one, which is a surprise because you would think that the one you get from Aladora would tie to the place where Aladora's fan was, but that was a different one. Dear beloved sister, please forgive your brother for leaving without telling you anything. I'm keeping this letter, even though I don't know when I'll be able to send it. I'm being chased because I know the biggest secret in Krat. I'll probably be able to see you if the alchemists have, are gone from this land, but I'll have to watch you from afar until that day. I plan to protect you until at least we can live here in peace. Just like how I saved you from the workshop tower. It'd be wonderful if people, if people learn the truth someday. But some truths are better left unknown. Among the alchemists, I saw all too often how cruel humans can become. After seeing all the experiments and nightmares they were responsible for, I came to believe that there is no God. Instead of revealing myself and risking your life, I'll choose to vanish forever. Still, please remember me if you ever read this letter. We came from across the wide ocean. I hope there is only truth in your life and leave your name here. I know people here call you Ijne as, as their way, but that name will protect you. Please remember your real name. Your real name is... The end of the passcode decipher is damaged, so it's unrecognizable. Of course. You are here. That's... 
You're here. I can't talk to her about it? You're here. Huh. Well, I guess we got two of those things, but only one of them's a new location. It's the one right before the nest, right? That was a few zones ago now? I guess so. I feel like the earlier zones were much longer. But that's not surprising. That's uh, most video games. Things often start front-loaded and, and ambitious. Think about how, like, I I haven't finished yet, so I don't know yet, but it, it feels like Act 1 of Baldur's Gate 3 is half of the video game. Attribute verification, well that's garbage. By which I mean it's hardly worth the trip. Oh, there's more down here. Oh, this is just a whole zone. <laughs> I'm gonna die now. Yep, that's bad. This is too much. Okay, they're all dead now. <laughs> that clockwise looks better. There we go. Sometimes it's just a lot to deal with at once, man. Okay. Uh... It's all fine. It's fine. This is the way to go. I don't see any drops. Uh-huh. Ooh, I got a little too close to that corner. Got a little too close there. <laughs> Collapse, evil brick. I actually don't want that, because then there's nowhere to go. Oh, don't fall in the hole. I do not trust myself. Who lives in here? Die! Nope. Someone's report notes notebook. Notes notebook, wow. An original. This place is contain uh this place is contaminated too. There isn't much extra water left. The kind hermit helped me, but he knows he's not going to last much longer either. Terrible mutations from the side effects of the petrification disease neutralization process. Many people of Krat will turn into carcasses, the alchemist monsters. My friends are the only thing that comes to mind in my final moments. Lumachio is ill. Sophia is missing. Lorenzini, oh, Lorenzini lost hope. H is dead. Here I am, Medoro. We risked our lives and fought from each post. But sometimes there are no rewards. Still, some things are left. Something even power and lies can't hide. The truth. Someone will unearth the truth. Someone will unveil the lie. Taking the extra step forward for the people coming behind. I believe that was my role. I am Medoro the reporter. My weapon was my pen. And the truth. Now I leave my records to you who visit this place. From Medoro. Hmm. That was a series of named characters there. I mean, literally named because they just were named. But I mean, like, as in, like, characters we'd heard, heard the names of before, I think. Obviously, Medoro's the actual writer of half the things we've seen and so on, but... In the end, it seems like the cure was very popular, because ain't nobody left. 
Everyone gave it a go and it did not really honor its end of the deal. So polite of them all to run into my attack one by one. Oop. I gotta remember, I think I had a quartz and I forgot to spend it. We've also got music to listen to. I don't trust these. That's what I thought. Oh, that's a big one. It's really surreal that they can run diagonally like that. It's fine. Bye. There, I used my hand. Aren't you guys all happy for me? <laughs> oh, I wish I used it more. None of the ones I tried quite felt right. And some of them kind of feel like you have to level them up to make them feel right. That itself feels like a trap. I don't know. Another quartz! Yeah, may maybe someone's been tearing their hair out all playthrough because just every time I tried the grappling hook, I was either doing it wrong or trying it on the wrong targets, and so it always felt like it didn't work well. And then... This, this star, it's like their favorite thing about the entire video game, and they had a great time with it all game. Maybe. It looked exciting when I unlocked it, and then I never could get it to help in the fighting. It certainly wasn't the... The grabby claw thing. The cl it, it definitely didn't feel like the clutch claw from, uh... Doop. From... Monster Hunter Rise. Monster Hunter... Was it also in Rise? I think it was also in Rise, but I meant, I meant Monster Hunter... Iceborne? Monster Hunter World Iceborne. That's when they added the clutch claw. And... It, and it's a, it's a thing I struggle with, is that this is such a punishing genre, and I like it for what it is, but it does mean that when they give you weird new mechanics to experiment with, it often feels so punishing to experiment with that you kind of drop off doing that, because you're trying to progress doubly so when you're doing a playthrough, and you're like, me just fucking around for an hour trying to master a mechanic, is the opposite of progress. I might have, so I think I might have two. No, only one. Okay, I did not have a spare quartz, but now I do. Uh, yep, so we're about to get the this next bit. We got these two increased pulse cells. Okay, so I have survival and attack. Let's look at ability. Automatically charges consumed legion. Lowers the stamina cost of charge attacks. Oh. Charges fable with a perfect guard. Honestly, I use so many charge attacks that I should probably lower the stamina consumption of them. <laughs> That's probably a smart move. <coughs> ah. Alright, so we have increased weight limit, increased physical damage reduction rate, max XP, so all this amounts to me be tanky much more than before. Increase max HP, but shittier. Max stamina. Weapons last longer. S slow, shitty healing. Motivity for the damage. HP, stamina, and legion. Weight limit, but shittier. Increase damage against puppets. A chance for pulse cells to not be consumed, but it's really expensive. Increase weapon attack in proportion to number of fable slots. Makes me slightly heavy. <clears throat> what is my weapon attack? Let's compare. It's almost exactly 430.
Didn't go up. Still 430. I guess I should hit a guy with it. We have these dummies. I guess they want me to test it that way. That's a little annoying. Seven hundred and thirty-five. Oh! Okay, I forgot this variability. I didn't let it run away, run out. Still, I do about like five fifty to six hundred damage. Six hundred to six to seven fifty. That's huge. That is uh, an increase in damage of like twenty five percent. What the fuck? Seven fifty. It's huge. The question here is, what does fable slots mean? And I'm not being a smartass. I mean, does it mean full Fable slots, or how many slots I have? Seven hundred. Oh wait, it always refills. Shit. I think it just means I need to. I just need to test it faster. I think. Ah, oh, fuck! It regenerates immediately. I'm not gonna learn. Well, that's annoying, but it is a good damage boost. The problem is that it makes me heavy. So for now, I might need to go for a slightly weaker piece of armor. This thing's super heavy on fire, which admittedly I don't know it. Do you... Okay, like half of these don't make me slightly heavy. So there is that, at least. Uh, that's a that focuses on acid, that one focuses on fire. These two are the same weight, but... The current one focuses on acid, this one focuses on fire. Might as well go with the fire one a little bit, but yeah. This is good. I didn't have to reduce my physical capacity, my physical weight. Physical damage reduction. Uh, just lost something else. They said new arrival, so is there somebody... Oh, there you are. It's Aladoro's fanboy. Hey, I didn't think we'd meet again. I've just come back from the relic of Trismegistus. And I had no idea it was connected to the hotel. I should add that to my map. It was grim work out there. I found the real Alidoro. He's dead. Probably died heroically seeking one last score. I buried his body and collected his belongings. It's a tragedy. He was a real professional and an inspiration to the next generation. I'm planning to continue his legacy. And like I said, I'm an explorer, not a fighter, so you would know. Is this weapon any good? If you're worthy, I'll give you Aladoro's weapon. What's it cost? I don't see it. How do you become worthy? Yeah, that's not it, right? It was a big scythe. But not that one. 
I want to give Alidoro's belongings to someone who knows their worth. It's what he would have wanted. If you can prove your worth, his weapon is yours. I imagine he just means if you buy every, if you give him every boss soul, you get that weapon, basically. And we are late enough in the game that I probably should just spend all of my items and just say screw it. But, uh, I haven't. Current air. Oh, I got 2100 on me. Okay. So gotta get to 14k. That was too many, but whatever. Yeah, I'm going for some heavy items, so I probably should go for capacity, not motivity. And uh, I'm like 1k short. I can make it to 14,300 and I need 15,200. We can't quite do it yet. Womp womp. But I've got stock on me. They definitely were all noting on me as I went. So that's good to know. Let's see, and I already found the thing that it pointed at, so let's, I guess it's time to listen to some music. So skip ahead if you don't want this part, but... I'm, I've committed to becoming human, and there's two more songs now. Fascination.
That one didn't have any vocals. I would have had that running all along then. You feel warmth. I think it says the ergo is whispering and stuff like that, but like more recently it just straight up saying you feel warmth. Like it's saying something different. That's interesting. I wonder if that's like caused by different things. That's like a similar, maybe larger indicator. Or if it uh, means I've passed a threshold. Because you wouldn't think I could feel warmth. I mean, I do burn, but <laughs> that seems different. You are here. That's a relief. Being trapped somewhere. It's the worst. Well, I think that's going to be it for now.